From a young age, I was definitely a competitive person. You know, just loved the adrenaline rush of riding something, you know, just pinching the throttle. Come around the corner and kind of got bucked a little funny. My left foot hit the ground. My knee just actually just buckled. My, my snowmobile didn't even tumble. It just, it landed on the skis and track and just kind of coasted away and there I lay in a pile. Instantly I was in the worst pain I've ever been in. I woke up, you know, I had tubes down my throat and everything and I was, I was in bad shape. When he told me that amputation was probably the best bet, I'm just like, all of a sudden I'm having all these flashes through my head and I'm like, man, I, you know, I'm, a, I'm a professional athlete. After my amputation, that first 24 hours was just, uh, was so hard. Um, I almost didn't make it through. Things started getting better and better. So from, from that point, I just decided to do my best to look forward. All the guys, you know, visiting me and stuff were joking about, yeah, he'll be in his garage building his own leg before too long and he'll probably have a fox shock in it or something. I worked on the first sketch for about a month, making these little cardboard cutouts. I knew right away I wanted to use a Fox mountain bike shock because they're like the trickiest little lightweight packages out there. Just went to start machining and, and uh, a week later, had my very first full prototype, bolted it onto my socket and took about five steps over my dirt bike. And I had a smile ear to ear and, you know, just being able to stand up on the bike, you know, with equal weight side to side and just pinch a throttle was just, Unreal, I was the happiest guy in the world. <laughs> it works great, and the, the Fox Shock is the key component that allows it to do that. The big advantage is, compared to anything else, is that it gives me spring return. Now I got, I got all kinds of uh, prosthetic components with Fox Shocks in them. I found out about the, the Summer X Games Adaptive Supercross. It's for amputees and paraplegics. So I'm like, heck yeah, count me in. I'm, I'm gonna start right now. You know, six months ago, if somebody would have, you know, told me I'd be here, I'd be like, yeah, right. Me on a snowboard at X Games? Not a chance. You know, when my accident happened three years ago, I, I thought my competition days were done. You know, things all worked out with uh, Adaptive Moto Cross and Adaptive Snow Cross. I, I raced those two events for, for two years, and then ESPN got rid of those. From there, I knew, hey, man, I, I can still keep doing this. Just kind of overcoming this, this big challenge it has opened my eyes up. There's no limitations, they're just speed bumps. After going through this ordeal and seeing the support from everybody and uh, my family, friends, the racing community, I definitely look at it like, man, I'm lucky. So right now I definitely try to take a little more time to appreciate all the little things uh, more than I did before. But yeah, still once the helmet goes on, I'm just like, you know, <laughs> pin it. <laughs>